gonna go to Lowe's because that's the only place that sells the the navel jelly. We went to Home Depot. Home Depot didn't have it. Now I might get some donuts, but uh, today should be an interesting day because we have we're gonna go out there and work on the bus, but. A lot of Meredith's family is going to be out there as well because uh, we just want to get together, see her out, see her grandparents, just be with them. Now let's go get some donuts. Thank you. You too. Got them donuts. Previously on Gus the Struggle Bus. We got to the next step, you have to turn the engine on so it can filter it through so there's no air holes. Now the bus won't start. I've been out in the sun all day. It got to be 102 today, so work with me. All right, guys, we got donuts. We got things from Lowe's. We got things from AutoZone. We got the car. We're on our way to work on the bus. Had some stuff go wrong, so Pepe picked up some donuts, so I'm good now. On a really bumpy road. What wedding diet? What are you talking about? <laughs> Fitness hole. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Okay, so we showed you what the rest looked like to start with. Then we showed you what it looked like after we went through and brushed it, which probably was a waste of time for us. We probably could have just gone straight to the navel jelly, but we wanted it to work as good as it could on anything underneath. So if we can get any of the surface up ourselves, we wanted to, so I'm okay with it. I'm, I am in. So now let's go see what it looks like after doing the navel jelly. We let it sit for about, what do we let it sit for 30 minutes or an hour? You think an hour? Yeah. We let it sit for an hour and then we washed it out and then we let it dry overnight and here's what it looks like now. Uh, there's still small spots like this one's and this one's right here. But we're gonna work on him again. Uh, do a slight, uh, light brushing and do some, put some more uh, jelly on him, and hopefully that will that will do the work. We have. Consulted with some of our family members who work with ACs, work with cars, work with uh, things like this. One of the main things they've told us is that in order to take them out, you need to basically drain the compressors. The compressors is what basically, from what my understanding is, cools the air out with the Freon. And the reason why you have to have a professional drain it out is because the Freon is harmful for the environment and you have to have to in order to do it lawfully, you have to do it, you have to have a 
professional uh, take it out for you. From the AC units, it goes to the compressor. It's plugged into a compressor by these two tubes. We have two compressors, one right here, one right here. I went ahead and unscrewed it because they had the the guy, our friend, actually went ahead and <coughs> drained the gas out. And basically we'll basically take it out through the actual engine. So we took the AC unit off the top of the bus. As you can see, it has all these wires. They go through that little hole to under here, underneath the bus. This blue cable right here is where the electrical wire goes. There's other black tubes. Uh, this one and this one is where the Freon goes. You can follow all the way. It's gonna go in between the bus. You see that right there? And eventually it meets other tubes. Now, the reason why the tubes are going back and they're going forward is because you see this looks a lot bigger than what it originally looked like. We have three ACs, one in the back and two in the front. This one connects to the one in the back and then goes all the way to the front. And it's one of those four tubes that originally we took off. Then the electrical part the will go to one of these fans there's one over here and one over here. So basically the next step is going to be getting the tubes out from inside the engine, making sure the electrical cords that go to these two fans come off and take the two big old fans off the bus, all without dying. So pretty in the sky, also on the faces of people going by. Boy. Oh yeah. What I just did and why I'm so dirty is this whole hoses they are zip tied together. And it's it's zip tied the hoses together, it's zip tied to the electrical aspect of the AC, which is all the wires. It's everything zip tied together. On top of being zip tied to the bus in certain areas where it, I'm sure it's, it's important to have these, it gets these and it clamps it on to the actual frame of the bus. So I have to take these off and draw them off. What a wonderful world. Pull the cords through here, out this little door, out here. Now we're working on the last one that's very, very hard to get to. Last AC is out. Look at all that space. Goodbye. Hello. Right now, basically what I did was I traced the, the cords. I traced them all the way from the actual ACs and the fan right here. I traced them all the way onto the circuit, circuit board. There was two cables that went from a circuit board that is inside to over here, the battery. There are two red cables. They were actually hooked on like this one to this red, um, to the positive. 
Now I there's other three blue cords that come to here and out from here into the system right here. Right now what I'm going to do just so I can go and be done with it is I'm going to go ahead and cut the cables right here. Label these cables as AC cables and uh, I'll be done with it for today. Like that we don't have any hanging cords. <laughs> You're so dirty. I know. Who is I this black it. man? Since we did the navel jelly on the floor, it says that you need to paint and protect it 24 hours, within 24 hours after doing it. So since we did that yesterday and today, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the Rust-Oleum that we got. It is glossy white, so this place is going to look huge. But I'm going to start working on painting that, so let's do it. What a wonderful world. Tell me how you feel. Dirty. Really? It's probably the dirtiest I've ever painted in my whole entire life. That's not and true. And there's a lot. No, I think it is true. You look great. Yeah, it's just a lot being the last time we were dirty. <laughs> Babe, take your socks off. I just took one off. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it feels like I'm wearing one of those shoes that, that confront to your feet. No, it looks like you're wearing like athletic compression pants underneath oh, your... It? You know how they stop yeah, right yeah, there? Yeah. Underneath your shorts. Oh, my shorts. Ew. Ew. Wow. Ew, you nasty. Are... To myself, what a wonderful world.